Oh shit, I'd be quiet. Okay. <laughs> um, The cinematu motto means to me that you just face your fears, you take on challenges, you uh, you struggle, you push, and you uh, you go through things and you face everything fearlessly. No fear means for me doing something different uh, can very often be rewarded as long as you do it with passion and do it really well. Me and my wife, Jacqueline, in our jobs as teachers, moving to Ireland to open a restaurant with no menu. To sort of live without fear, for me, is just going out every single day and, and taking risks. Sky is the limit. Uh, we, we, we should not be bound uh, by, by tradition. We have got many things at our disposal to, to bring different flavours to whisky and I don't think we should be scared to, to let people see what we can do. There's an element of experimentation or certainly the cinematic thing is it's kind of an, an encouragement to uh, yeah, go for their experiments. I'm a designer and a craftsman, I'm trying to be, be more inventive with what I'm making or what I'm designing. I have passion about music. I love music. I've been making it since I was 11 years old. So I want to keep making music, and I think everything is happening here in Dublin. No fear coming from challenging yourself. If you really push yourself to do something that scares you, then you, after that, no fear. Doing things, even if it's scary and Everything like that has to do with change is scary, but you do them anyway. Thank you so much for being here with us. I like the idea that you can be fearless with friendship. There's a phrase in Ireland called chancing your arm. It sort of means what it says, but it also means a lot about the people. And in Dublin, people are take chances. <laughs> The story of the bottle is inspired by a real door in Dublin City uh, in 1492 and a group of them barricaded themselves in St. Patrick's Cathedral. The guys outside were like, come out, we'll settle this, we're not going to kill you. And they're like, no, we're not coming out, you're definitely going to kill us. In order to reconcile, they cut a hole in the door to the church and put their hand through, risking having their hand chopped off. And they shook hands and they made friends and they settled their differences. Ah!